Police say they're being called to an area dozens of times where four people were shot over the weekend. Investigators were back on the scene today collecting new evidence. Now, so far, they've recovered more than 40 shell casings and say they're surprised more people were not hurt. WSBT 22's Ed Ernst has spoke with nearby businesses and customers. Police were back at the shooting scene gathering evidence. They're questioning people who saw anything or were in the parking lot of the Big Easy Bar on East Jackson Street. The most recent incident near the bar is disturbing to some nearby business owners. The bottom line is this is our livelihood. We, we have, we're business owners here and, and uh, when something like that happens, there's reason for concern because you don't want the reputation of your business being associated with anything negative. It's given a bad name to a lot of other reputable uh, bars and grills in town, some which I frequent for dinner. Uh, shell casings were recovered. That means bullets were flying all around the neighborhood. Someone could have got killed and other businesses shot up. It needs to be closed. Within the past year, police say they have had numerous calls here, specifically the outdoor parking lot, for such things as fights, loud noise, and traffic stops, but cannot say with certainty that those were related to activity at the bar. Majority of the problems that we respond to there are something that happens outside, and a lot of those are even perceived problems where maybe somebody calls something in um, and it turns out to not be exactly what they saw. Sometimes, he says, the bar owners called. And a lot of it is, you know, the business trying to work well with the police department and calling us ahead of time to tell us, hey, we have a large crowd, could you guys be here when we let out so that there aren't any problems? as well as our officers knowing that, you know, that's a pretty busy establishment on weekends. It's just a bad situation all the way around. Anytime they have to come out for an incident like that is a little disturbing. Ed Ernstis, WSBT 22 News. And police are asking for anyone that was there at the time of the fight or has any information to call them. And so far, they say no one is talking. A Detroit